Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Prescription Nurse, your daily dose to living well. I'm Chandra Eldridge, your nurse consultant, and I'm back with another video. And today's video is a health and wellness video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for watching. And if you've been with me before and you've been watching, I truly, truly thank you for your support and welcome back to another video. Today's video, like I said, is a health and wellness video and we're gonna be talking about something that is very serious and we all know about because it's all over the news and that is the coronavirus, AKA COVID-19. And it is a very serious virus and it is the truth. Um, I see so much stuff on Facebook and the news and you know, it's just all kinds of information out there. Some of the information is true. Some of the information is just totally ridiculous. So I'm here to help you kind of guide yourself through all of the information that's out there. And the biggest thing that I want to do is I want to focus on what I think or what I feel that isn't really being brought to the forefront. And that is prevention and what you need to do to stay healthy, number one, and to stay safe. So we're gonna talk about that in the video. And there are five things that you can do to keep yourself safe, to keep your family safe, and to stay healthy. You know, I was in the grocery store, I had to get some stuff, and it's just the regular stuff that I need every day. And I was kinda like, I need to go because everybody was panicking and going to the store, buying out everything. So I was like, okay, I really need to go. And when I was there, the one thing that I noticed is, I'm sorry about that noise. <laughs> and it is actually midnight. I am filming this at 12.40 a.m. and that kind of noise is outside. Anyway, that's besides the point. <laughs> I was at the grocery store and I noticed that the fresh fruits and vegetables section was full. I mean, it was just abundantly full nothing sparse there at all fresh juice i was at heb so you know how they juice the fresh juice daily vegetables fruit all there but you look in the outer portions where all the boxed and processed foods are those are the things that people were taking which i understand because you want things to last hence the reason why they are processed and preserved um, but that's the one thing that we need to focus on is the fresh fruits and vegetables because those are the things that's going to help you fight against viruses and bacteria. So I really want you guys to pay attention to what I'm saying and focus on what I'm saying. Don't operate out of fear, which puts you in a state of lack and then you're not thinking clearly and you're just grabbing stuff that has no value to you. It, the more you eat processed food, the more it's going to break down your immune system and the more susceptible you're going to be to catching corona or any type of virus. We are exposed to viruses and bacteria every single day. Some make you sick, some don't. This is just more to the forefront and it's all over TV. So it's just, you know, making everybody feel some type of way and feel more fearful. So let's get into what you can do. Okay, so the first thing to do, guys, listen, don't panic. Prepare, not panic. Plan, not panic. We are here to tell you, I am here to tell you as a healthcare worker, I'm exposed to all kinds of stuff. I'm still here, thank God. You know, because of, if it wasn't for God, who knows, but I'm still here. So you have to make sure you plan and you prepare and you don't panic. And planning comes from knowing what to do. And I guess that's why you're here and watching this video. So you're going to prepare like you would for any natural disaster. And that is you want to have a 30 day supply of food. And like I said, you can still get fresh fruits and vegetables. Make sure you eat them. And then also frozen fruit is, is a good alternative and frozen vegetables. Um, I know if something happens and we don't have electricity, then you move on to your canned foods and then the packaged foods. But you wanna make sure you prepare like you would for any natural disaster with the 30 day supply of water, 
prescription medicine, canned food, um, diapers, laundry detergent, hand sanitizer, and things like that. Um, and the next thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you are washing your hands like you should be anyway. Like, I don't understand the big deal about washing your hands because you should be doing it every single day. You wash your hands before you eat. You wash your hands after going to the restroom. Um, if you're dealing with any type of like if you're changing a baby's diaper or your hands are soiled, you know, after you sneeze or anything like that, you want to wash your hands and you want to wash your hands for 20 seconds you want to get your hands under the water rub them together add some soap get a nice lather and you want to rub them together vigorously like this and in between all around for 20 seconds that is proper hand washing i see all this stuff on facebook wash your hands wash your hands but are you doing it properly so you can use hand sanitizer, use an alcohol-based um, hand sanitizer. Um, and even when you use the hand sanitizer, you wanna rub your hands together for at least 20 seconds. I also saw a post on Facebook that said, hand sanitizer does not kill viruses. And that is not true. Hand sanitizer does kill some viruses. Although it says antibacterial, it does also kill viruses. I guess they didn't wanna name it, antibacterial and antiviral. They just call it antibacterial because most things found on surfaces are bacteria. Viruses are also found there and it does kill viruses. Look it up. I suggest you do your own research and make sure you got the right information. Um, I do have some hand sanitizer here. This is a nice little one I got from Walmart and you can clip this on your belt loop um, or keep it in your purse. And this is strawberry scented. But again, you can use that. It does kill viruses. And I would encourage you to do your own research and look it up. Number three, disinfect high traffic areas. And this is something that we all can improve on. I know for me, I can. So think about it. How many times do you actually go in and wipe down all your doorknobs in your house? How many times do you go in and you wipe down your steering wheel in your car? <laughs> those are things that you need to focus on and make sure you wipe those down. Um, and even countertops like where you're cooking in the kitchen, you have a lot of people gathering in the kitchen. Make sure you're cleaning off your countertops, your dining room table, wipe those down um, frequently. And then the biggest thing you want to do, number four, I think is the most important thing. And that is take care of your immune system. And what I mean by that is eat properly, eat clean, and make sure you stay hydrated. And I love drinking this um, Evermore water. It's alkaline water. So I'm feeling a little parched right now. So I'm going to take a drink. And you, you want to make sure you stay hydrated and i'm gonna tell you drinking water does help kill viruses and bacteria because when your mouth is dry and you're breathing in certain things it gets trapped in your nose goes down to the back of your throat what happens is when you drink water it actually pushes and cleans out washes out the back of your throat and it goes down into your esophagus, into your stomach, and the acid will kill the majority of the bacteria or virus or whatever is getting into your mucous membranes. So it's important to stay hydrated, drink water. I cannot stress that enough. The next thing you wanna to do to help boost your immune system, and what I use is this emergency. And this stuff is really, really good. With that being said, emergency is very good. I do take this when I go to work and I try to stay consistent and take it every day. And what this does is it boosts your immune system. And what's this? I'm going to put it up here so you can see it. I don't know. That light is really bright. So what's so special about this is it has a hundred milligrams of vitamin C in it, plus vitamin D and zinc. And they are all known to fight uh, viruses, especially zinc. So you want to load up on your zinc. I also have, um, I take a supplement of zinc also in my shakes because 
I know that I work in the medical field, so I'm in that type of environment to get, you know, exposed to certain things. So I always try to boost my immune system. So this stuff is very good. I know that it's kind of hard to find right now, but if you can find some, definitely make a purchase and invest in it. I'll also leave a link in the description box if you're interested in purchasing some. And then also get you some Mucinex. It has a in it for the body aches and it's all about symptom management when it comes to mucinex. It's, it's going to help you to manage the symptoms of a cough, a runny nose, fever, um, sore throat, chest congestion. So definitely invest in getting you a bottle of mucinex. I like to use the day one and the night one. Also invest in some vitamin D3. So, Definitely make sure you do that. And then also Irish sea moss. And this stuff is very, very good for your immune system. It really does help to um, coat your digestive tract, which the majority of your immune system starts in your uh, digestive tract. So when you take the Irish sea moss, it actually forms like a gel coating in your um, intestines and it helps to pull out all kinds of toxins that are in there and it helps you to kind of get rid of those toxins. So I'm just gonna, I've typed in Irish sea moss, well actually benefits of Irish sea moss and this came up. So I'm just gonna read it to you briefly. Um, it's rich in potassium chloride, which is also good for the heart. Irish moss can work wonders for congestion and mucus and holds antibacterial and antiviral properties. It's also thought to be good for dry skin and for skin conditions raining from eczema and psoriasis. So it would be a very good idea to invest in getting you some Irish sea moss because it does have antiviral properties and it will help boost your immune system. So I'll also leave a link if you're interested in that and everything that I'm talking about will be in the description box. So that's number four. You want to boost your immune system to stay hydrated, take supplements. Um, and then also, of course, exercise. That's a given. You got to get out, get moving. And if you go into the gym, just make sure you wipe down the equipment. If you're sweating on stuff, just clean up behind yourself and wash your hands. So, and then lastly, number five, what you want to do is you want to Stay home if you're sick. A lot of people think it's heroic to go out and go to work when you're sick and that's not heroic. That's just not being very smart. If you're sick and you're not feeling well, stay home. If you are sick, stay home. And especially if you, you know, have elderly grandparents, you know, stay away from them if you are sick. Just stay home. Don't go to the grocery store. Um, you know, cause it's, it's people in a grocery store. I see, they don't even look like they feel well, but they're hacking and coughing and touching on all the fruit and everything. So hopefully when you buy stuff, you wash it. Cause you just never know what, what's on these, you know, what's on fruit and stuff these days. So anyway, you want to make sure that you are washing your hands, washing your fruit, washing your body, you know, hygiene is very important, but the number five thing is stay home. So just to recap, because I know it's a very serious matter and I know people are scared, but you have to focus on what you can control and what you can control is what you put into your body. What you can control is what you choose to believe what you choose to implement and what you choose to implement to protect yourself. So I'm going to go over these uh, five tips real briefly so that we can recap everything. And the first one, guys, don't panic. Stop panicking. Stop going crazy and acting like you have no home training, going buying up all the toilet paper. Like there's no reason for that. None whatsoever. And anyway, why are you buying all the toilet paper? Anyway, you can get, take a shower. People act like they can't even go in the shower. If you have an accident, take a shower and wash your butt. You have a towel. You can wash your towel. I, just, I don't get it. Maybe people just don't take baths anymore. So don't panic. Just prepare like you would for any natural disaster. Have a 30 day supply of water, your prescription meds and some canned food. And if you have young children, of course, you're going to need diapers and wipes and things like that. But, you know, just be respectful. 
And then number two, wash your hands. You wanna make sure you wash your hands for 20 seconds and you rub them together vigorously. Um, and if you sneeze, you touch something, um, your hands are soiled, um, even after petting your animals, make sure you wash your hands. And if you are not able to wash your hands, if you're not able to wash your hands, use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Um, that's 60 to 95% alcohol. And then you want to avoid touching your eyes and your nose and you know your face. And then number three, you want to disinfect high traffic areas like doorknobs and handles, countertops, computers, and things like that. And then you want to take care of your immune system and you do that by taking vitamin C, vitamin 3D, and um, zinc, get you some mucinex, some Tylenol, or Advil if you can take that, and some Irish sea moss. Those are my recommendations to keep your immune system healthy and also exercise and drink plenty of water. And then number five, stay home if you're sick. Don't walk up on this, don't walk up on your job and go in there if you're sick. Stay home. Trust me, your boss and your coworkers, they'll appreciate it. So anyway, guys, I hope that you found this video useful. If so, like, comment, and share. Don't forget to share this with your friends and family. Hopefully this will help them. It will help you. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And guess what? I will see you guys in the next video. And thank you so much for watching. God bless. Be safe. Stay healthy and beautiful. Bye, guys.